Welcome to another shave here on the Soap Thing Project. Today's video is going to feature a scent from Ariana and Evans. This is the defining scent of their Shaving Shop Club membership. It's Signature. And full disclosure, I am a Shaving Shop Club member and have been for a while. If for no other reason than if at some point they come out with a scent that I just can't live without, I can get it right away. Just immediately before I, before it, uh, I, I don't have to wait until it comes out uh, to the public, who knows how many months later. So there's that. Uh, but this is also, I think, the best scent they've ever made. Uh, I think this is the best, oh wow, yes, the best scent from Ariana and Evans that I have ever seen. It's my personal favorite, and we'll talk about why during the shave. So I got this from Maggard quite a while ago. I, I think this is actually Kaizen 1. <laughs> That's how old this is. Uh, you can get Ariana and Evans samples from Maggard between 2 and $3-ish for a sample like this. So I... Uh, yeah, tallow-based soap uh, with, uh, even with Kaizen 1, there were oodles of high-quality ingredients in it, so no issues with that. Uh, the aftershave is going to be Aramis Aftershave Balm, because I'm trying to use this stuff up, and so any excuse I have to use it during the fall and winter, you bet your ass I'm going to do it. <laughs> uh, the razor is going to be the Schick Type M. I'm going to be using this a lot, this and other Schick razors that I have on the way, because I have way more uh, injector blades of varying brands than I know what to do with. It's kind of crazy. So, in this case, we have a fifth use Ted Pella. That's going to be the blade that's currently in the razor. And for the brush, you know something, uh, every once in a while, you'll ask a, a brush maker to do something specific for you and they just nail it beyond any level of perfection you could have asked for. And that's the case for this one. This is from Eric Sorrentino and this is a black and gold 22 millimeter uh, Magger G5 synthetic. And what I like about this is he nailed the exact shape I wanted him to. The black and gold looks exactly how I imagined it. The polish job is utterly perfect. It's even countersunk. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but the uh, the top of the handle where it meets the uh, the knot is actually countersunk. It's slightly chamfered to uh, if a lot of times uh, brush makers will have like sharp edges up there, and that can actually cause particularly animal hairs to snap off. Well, if they countersunk countersink the uh, the top of the handle, which some uh, brush makers do, you have less likelihood of uh, you losing hairs from your knot due to that. And then I think I picked the perfect knot for this. It's a 22 millimeter Maggard synthetic that was set exactly where it needed to be. The stars just aligned for this brush. And I've used this a lot on the project and, and that's why, because I think it is just almost perfection when it comes to a shaving brush. Okay, let's do a shave. All right then. Oh, how much days of growth? About 36 hours, somewhere around a day and a half. Give or take a few hours, I'm not gonna be super specific. Uh, let's smell the uh, Shaving Shop Club signature in the uh, Prairie Shavery Unbreakable Shaving Bowl. This one is really good. Four out of five on the Sniffometer. <laughs> Definitely great stuff. Okay, I think I underwatered this, but that's okay. I can always add water as I put it on the face. One other scent from uh, 
from A and E that I'd like to see come back. Uh, they had uh, their uh, charred sandalwood and bourbon, which was kind of their uh, cobra spit scent. They did that in a uh, like a. They were trying to do tube creams, and and they frankly they fucking sucked at it. Uh, and I <clears throat> kind of put a, you know, thought in Peter Charkelis's head. Why don't you just bring that scent over to your, like, Pedro Fiasco soap base? Because that stuff is is amazing. And he was just like, yeah, I'm, I'm working on that. That's kind of on the back burner because he's got other stuff going on. But apparently other people have said uh, something similar that that would be a good contender for the... Uh, the budget soaps, the Pedro Fiasco stuff. So hopefully we can convince him to hit the gas on that. Because I would I would be all over that. That stuff smells good. It was kind of, oh, that was frustrating. Uh, you get such a great scent like that and then it comes in a, in a soap that, or a, or a shaving cream, I guess, in this case that was just almost unworkable. It was really hard to make a lather with it. Okay, uh, what the hell am I doing? Uh, Schick Type M with a fifth use Ted Pella blade. Let's see how this blade is still doing. Here we go. Seems fine. I mean, this is on uh, setting two, two-ish. If this is any indicator for how uh, injector blades, how long they normally last, then uh, we're gonna be here a while <laughs> using uh, Schick razors. One thing I've learned not to do with these razors is try to shave when you have under 24 hours growth. Do not do that. <laughs> because uh, uh, at least for me, I will get kind of a hack job. All right. Ooh, not particularly close. I wonder if the Ted Pella blades, instead of uh, starting to tug and pull and stuff like that, I wonder if they just get mild to the point where they basically just glance over you and don't do anything. All right, we gotta talk about this scent because like I said, this is my favorite from uh, Ariana, Ariana and Evans. And here's the thing, A&E makes so many scents that are just so good. Uh, but when it comes down to like my favorite types of scents, I very much enjoy like woody scents, boozy scents. I am a particular fan of like uh, cedar wood, sandalwood, oud, that sort of thing. Uh, if I were going to go to having not very many scents in my collection, well, the overwhelming majority of them would be woody scents. All right, <clears throat> dry my hands off, activate the iPhone cheat sheet, and let's talk about it. For scent notes, we have Bourbon, Tobacco Absolute, and two different types of sandalwood, Arabian sandalwood and Tunisian sandalwood, and just a little bit of oud is kind of how it's described. So this comes off uh, very rich and sweet, and I think uh, people don't expect it to be quite so sweet. And so I've seen a lot of people talk about how, like, I guess this soap gets really mixed reactions from people. Uh, for me, it was a surprise when I smelled it for the first time, but it was a very pleasant surprise. Because it does have this, like, like bourbon and tobacco can come off sweet to begin with. And then you have two different types of sandalwood, and sandalwood can kind of be creamy and almost sweet as well and so as a result you have this very rich kind of bordering on gourmand kind of sweet woody facet that, that comes out of this i 
the way it's advertised on their website would have you thinking that it's kind of supposed to smell uh, like the aroma that you would expect if you were walking into a bar. That's kind of how it's uh, how it's portrayed. But in practice, I think it's really sweet and rich and woody. Uh, and I would say it actually, the scent is actually kind of linear. Like I get the bourbon first, I get this like slightly boozy uh, bourbon sweetness, I guess. Uh, and then tobacco absolute, it will tend to be a little bit sweet. And then I start getting these these kind of uh, rich and uh, creamy, slightly dry uh, woody notes. It says it has a bit of agarwood or oud. If you're looking for an oud scent, this isn't going to do it for you. Uh, there is so little oud in this that it's barely noticeable. So if you're looking for something that's just like an oud bomb, you're looking in the wrong place. Uh, A&E does do that. They do uh, a couple of oud bomb type of scents, but this is much more sweet and uh, semi-dry woody, sandal woody. Uh, why do I like it so much? I don't know. I think it's just because of the elegant simplicity. Like they were able to make something that smells so good with so few scent notes. So I think that's it. It smells surprisingly high quality for what it is and what they claim is in it. <clears throat> I need to probably should have cranked this up. I probably. Could have got a little bit of a closer shave, but there's a nick right there. I think I have a some kind of a bump or something going on there because I, I always nick myself in exactly that spot. So maybe I need to quit shaving for a few days, like on a long weekend, and see if I can get that to heal because I always crack that one spot open right there on practically every shave. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. Well, whatever. This will just be... Whatever will be, will be. Time for the Aramis Aftershave Balm. Trying to let too much of it out, because this stuff uh, is really runny. Yep, I used too much of it again. So, when you got extra, just slather it around all over the place. Alright. Now my whole face smells like funky old leather, <laughs> which is fine with me. Okay. Now, my final thoughts on, well, I don't, need you, I don't need to tell you my final thoughts because you should already know it by now. Obviously, I think this is a resounding thumbs up. It's just incredible stuff. I, it's not super complex, and I don't think it's trying to be. I, this is supposed to be, like I said, the defining scent for the Shaving Shop Club, and I think they nailed it. I, out of everything that Ariana and Evans has ever made, that one just kind of ticks all the right boxes for me way more than anything else. That's how I feel about it. Okay, that's the shave for today. Questions, comments, put them in the comment section of the video. Otherwise, until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching.